Okay, well, I made some kind of fun today. I took this little uh, stainless steel cell that's the uh, cooked crystals, and it's still holding about a volt, and I decided to go ahead and hook something up to it. It's a little uh, oscillator on these flyback, uh, flyback spike uh, LED oscillator. They use a little tiny, tiny uh, toroid, uh, ferrite toroid for the transformer. A blocking oscillator, basically, but I put a little photo cell right here between the base and the negative rail, and I can turn this on and off now automatically. And uh, I'll use a flashlight here. I'll show you how it works. And when it's off, the thing draws about two microamps. When it's running it goes anywhere from about 30 microamps up to about 65 microamps. Now listen to it with the radio as I change the frequency with my hand by, by blocking the light that hits the photo cell. This is going to sound like 60 cycle hum first because the 60 cycle lights in my house here get a feedback into that photo cell. I thought this was real interesting. Hear that? That's actually the 60 cycle hum of the lights in my house causing that. I'm going to block, block this with my hand here now. You'll see it change frequency. And that's me blocking this with my hand. But I'm going to just set this up on the shelf here and I'll let this thing come on and off on its own and uh, see how long it runs. I made it so it can be all taken apart and I can still use the oscillator if the cell goes dead, but uh, I thought that was kind of cool. It's a little uh, uh, low power oscillator. I turn this into the light, it'll go off here. See it go off? And uh, like I say, when it's, uh, when it's shut off by that little photo cell there, it draws about two microamps is all. I've got a lot of base resistance on the uh, on the transistor, about 47k, and uh, it puts out about a volt on this thing, so it's not very much power. But remember, this is solid state. This is not this is not a situation where it's got any moisture being able to get in there at all. This is filled with paraffin, and it's layers of crystals up and down inside here. Each layer is cooked. It's cooked on the stove. And so we'll just let this little guy run and uh, see how long that thing goes. And like I say, it'll turn itself off in the morning when the light hits it and recover. And I found out that these crystal cells, uh, crystal 